But let's get more on the story. We cross to SABC News reporter Mbalentle Mtetwa, who's outside Johannesburg Central Police Station. A very good afternoon to Mbalentle. Just tell us what you're seeing and what's happening there. I can barely hear you because of the noise that's happening in the background. As you can hear, this is the protest here uh, calling for the release of Ntakalak Slamini. You understand that the journey today started at the Red Court Magistrate's Court where he was expected to appear and apply for bail. But we then learned from his attorneys that he will not appear today and that the police are exercising that 48-hour period before they charge him. So it seems as though he has not been charged and that is part of the reason why he has not appeared uh, before any court this morning or applied for bail and it's become, based on what the attorneys are saying, it's become clear that there is a chance that he will spend the weekend behind bars and may only appear on Monday. And this has then prompted some of his supporters to come out here and picket and protest, saying that they will not leave uh, until just so that they show their solidarity uh, to uh, the, the leader who is arrested and is kept inside this prison. They've also said that they will not leave unless he is um, released. But they also said that their operations and all that they've been tasked to do and all their plans for the weekend will continue according to plan with or without Isaiah Lux Adlamini. We understand that they have an operation uh, in Durban that was planned uh, for Sunday. And this is part of, they say, as part of their growing initiative to try and fight against um, social ills such as drugs in communities and the abuses uh, that they say that South Africans are experiencing at the hands of undocumented um, migrants and that, you know, they call this for economic opportunities and so on. But the other thing that has actually emerged from uh, today is the fact that they are not ruling out a political interference in the arrest of the They are bemoaning the fact that he was ambushed and was not given an opportunity to hand himself over to the police like you would see with other high-profiled officials when they are facing criminal actions. Uh, they also said that they're also accusing the EFA for being the mastermind behind the arrest, saying that uh, basically making allegations that the EFA is um, putting pressure on the police to act. You remember that there are allegations that the EFA fulfilled for the arrest of Atlanta Lux following that raid at the home of a Soweto resident uh, just last weekend. You understand that uh, the, the, it's unclear, but it's also it's unclear if they had um, a warrant to search the premises. They were with police, but if there was no warrant to search the premises, then the whole act is, is compromised and, and, and is then brought into question. We, 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 we are obviously still waiting to hear what will come out of those charges and what sort of charges he will be charged with. But we heard from the lawyers that the police are not ruling out charging him with intimidation because the the, the, the victim, rather, says that uh, they were uh, they were intimidated by some uh, Dudula operation um, ma members. So that is what we have heard so far on the ground. This is what we found when we came here in Johannesburg. The singing and the chanting and people calling for the release of um, Ntanta Max Zanini. Valencia Teto are giving us an update our Outside the Johannesburg Central Police Station. It will be interesting to see what happens next. Thanks so much for that update, Mbalentle.